Today we are going to determine the moment capacity of a composite beam and the question of today is determine the moment capacity of the section shown in the figure below assuming the UB is of grade S275 steel and that the characteristic strength of concrete is 35 newtons per square millimeter. Now here we have a composite uh, beam section consisting of concrete flange and a universal beam section that is in form of an I section whose serial size is 406 by 175 by 74 universal beam. The effective breadth of the concrete flange is 1500 millimeters and the depth of the concrete flange is 130 millimeters. We are going to begin by determining the position of the neutral axis, whether the neutral axis where will be in the concrete flange or in the steel flange or in the steel web. And by doing so, we are going to calculate the resistance of the concrete flange. Therefore, beginning with calculation of resistance of the concrete flange. Resistance of the concrete flange, which is usually denoted by RC. And in this case, RC will be given by 0 0.45 FCU multiplied by cross-sectional area of the concrete flange, that is AC. And the cross-sectional area of the concrete flange is given by the effective breadth of the concrete flange multiplied by the depth of the concrete flange, that is DS. And therefore, RC will be equal to 0 0.45 times FCU, characteristic strength of uh, concrete, that is 35 newtons per square millimeters. Then we multiply this by the effective breadth of the concrete fringe, that is 1,500 millimeters, multiplied by the depth of the concrete fringe, which is 130 millimeters. And then to convert to kilonewtons, we are going to multiply by 10 raised to the power of negative 3. Or in simple terms, dividing the answer by a thousand. This is going to give us a resistance of 3,071.25 kilo newtons. Therefore, that is the resistance of the concrete flange. After determining the resistance of the concrete flange, the next part will be calculation of the resistance of the steel beam section. Therefore, we go to calculation of resistance of steel beam. Which is simply denoted by RS. And the resistance of the steel section will be given by area of the steel section multiplied by the characteristic strength or the design strength of steel, that is PY, which we have been given as S275, which means that the design uh, strength of this steel section is 275 newtons per square millimeters. Therefore, from BS, from appendix B of the BS 5950, the area of the steel section is 95 square centimeters. We multiply by 10 squared. Then we multiply this by the design strength of steel 
275 newtons per square millimeters and we are going to multiply 275 by 10 raised to the power of negative 3 or dividing it by a thousand and by doing so we are going to get the resistance of the steel beam being equal to 2612.5 kilo newtons therefore that is the resistance of the steel beam so when we compare the resistance of the concrete uh, flange by the resistance of the steel section we find that rc is greater than rs and since rc is greater than rs it now means that the neutral axis will fall in the concrete flange remember you usually have three case three cases the first case is when the neutral axis falls in the concrete flange the second case is when the neutral axis falls in the steel flange and the third case is when the neutral axis falls in the web of the steel section after doing so we can prove that the neutral axis will fall in the concrete flange by calculating the depth of the neutral axis. Therefore, YP, which is the depth of the neutral axis, will be given by RS divided by 0 0.45 FCU multiplied by effective breadth of the concrete flange. And in this case, RS, which we have calculated here as uh, area of the section times the design strength of steel, which is 2612.5 kilonewtons. We convert that to newtons by multiplying it by a thousand or 10 raised to the power of uh, 3. Since FCU is in newtons per square millimeters, BE is also in millimeters and therefore this is going to be 0 0.45 times characteristic strength of uh, concrete 35 multiplied by the effective breadth of the concrete uh, flange which is 1500 millimeters and when we do so we are going to get the depth of the neutral axis being 110.6 millimeters and therefore you find that 110.6 uh, millimeters is less than ds that is the depth of the concrete fringe which is 130 millimeters and therefore it means that the neutral axis falls in the concrete fringe from there we are going to determine now the moment capacity therefore the moment capacity of the composite beam section moment capacity that is mc mc <coughs> will now be given by this formula that is a uh, a p y into d s plus d over 2 minus r s divided by r c multiplied by d s divided by 2 so this is the, the formula of calculating the moment capacity when the neutral axis falls in the concrete flange. A is the area. A is the area of this UB section that you get uh, from Appendix B of the BS5950. 
Py is the desired strength of uh, this T section, which is 275 newtons per square millimeter. Ds is the depth of the concrete, uh, concrete fringe. D is the depth of the section. Rs, as we have calculated, is the resistance of the steel beam. Rc, resistance of the concrete fringe. Ds, the depth of this of the concrete fringe. And therefore, A, P, Y, we already have it here. That is Rs, 2612.5 kilo newtons. Therefore, this is uh, 2612.5 kilo newtons. We multiply, we multiply by a thousand to convert it to newtons. Therefore, multiply by 10 raised to the power of 3 into ds, that is the depth of the concrete flange, 130 millimeters, plus d, the depth of this UB section from appendix B of BS5950 is 142 Point eight millimeters we divide that by two then we subtract rs which we have it as 26 12.5 26 12.5 we divide by rc which is 30 71.25 so divide that by 30 71.25 then we multiply that by ds, the depth of the concrete fringe, which is 130 millimeters. We divide that by 2. So all this uh, will give us the answer in newtons millimeter. So to convert to kilonewtons millimeter, kilonewton meter, we are going to multiply by 10 raised to the power of negative 6 or divide the answer by 1 million. Remember, 1 kilonewton is equivalent to 1,000 newtons. 1 meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeters. Therefore, when you multiply 1,000 by 1,000, you get a million. And by doing so, we are going to get the moment capacity of 734.4 kilonewton meter. And therefore, that is the moment capacity of this composite beam section therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching our video let's meet in our next lesson i am george committee